Well, in, in 2018, you and some friends were hanging out at Hooters. Oh. And uh, I guess an argument started between your group and some other guys. And some shots rang out. Shots rang out. Not not from your group. No. From the other group. Uh, but, and this yeah, is in happens. Queens, by the way. Yeah, that happens. Man. That happens. Mm. Did the did the guy who did the shooting was he ever caught or did he just have, run off? And, you know, I'm not in my hood. We we ain't checking for that. Yo. Did they catch who <laughs> shot at us? Nah, we ain't checking for that. It's over. Got, it's over. You know, gotcha. Well, after that, um, you were talking about joining the uh, the Chinese Basketball Association, but you ended up not doing that. Um, you joined the Philippine uh, Mighty Sports. Yeah. And um, I guess there was a small stint with that. And then you joined the big three. Uh, but ultimately you were de deactivated from the team. Why is that? Again, you, like, you know, basketball, one of those sports, if you're not in shape, it's hard to play. And I guess from not being in, um, not being in basketball shape for so long, I took it for granted, you know what I'm saying? That it was only three on three, but you know, mm -hmm. that should have kicked your ass still. And I, I told myself really, have you ever seen me on the basketball court again? You know, I'm in good shape. Cause I told myself after I had that, I played that year for the Clippers. Man, I, I started that year. I probably was like 300 pounds, but I like wow. in like three or four months, I like got myself really back in the shape. But even though when you when you out of shape like that, you lose some of your confidence having to play. But I told myself I'm never gonna play basketball again if I'm not. In shape. So that's it. So that's it. Unless you get in perfect shape. You're no, you again. if you you might see me out there, but you know if you see me out there, like I'm in really good shape. And to to be honest with you, um those strokes and those heart attacks, I think they kinda of, it took away it took away a little bit of my my coordination. Yeah, makes sense. And my most effective ability was my size. And my ball handling ability. And it's just like, it don't really, I might bounce it and it don't, it don't really come up the same. So I'll have to really like work and perfect and hone my, my craft before I even decide to step out, of, uh, step out there again. Well, you talked about your book. You ended up uh, putting out your, your memoir. And the one thing that kind of stuck out in that book was that you claimed that you slept with over 2,000 women. I was about, I, don't, I never really counted, but probably had to be right. something up there. Yeah, like, I mean, I think about okay. the ones, I don't even remember their name. God bless them. <laughs> I feel you. Well, uh, I mean, Will Chamberlain, you know, claimed he slept with 20,000, which is yeah, 10 like, times. Yeah, that's like 20. <laughs> you See, know, I mean, if he was here, you know, he would say, Lamar ain't got shit on me. Yeah, no, nah, he, would, he would definitely say that. Because I'm, like, I'm definitely a lightweight to him. Well, I think about the places I lived, popularity. I mean, I don't really count it, but probably up there. And I, it's, it's, I'm not ashamed. I'm not proud of that. I got a daughter, 22 years old. Yeah. I'm not. But in, in the process of writing a book, it just came out. <laughs> 